G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Space Engineers Survival Maybe. Today we are going to move the solar tower to the top of the mountain. So I've spent uh, probably about three in-game days uh, off camera just uh, building up um, building up some supplies basically because we were completely out of iron and um, we were running out of magnesium and all sorts of stuff so um, yeah I've spent quite a lot of time uh, probably done about six iron trips alone plus I've done like a nickel some cobalt silicon magnesium basically you know all the uh general components that we need so we've um we've got some reserves um a fair bit of iron left over oh I, I had to get some more ice too we were down to like 700 um 700 kilo of ice so i did that and um we're down to six refineries i have removed the one that was up here and so yeah, there's a fair bit of material in there to keep those guys working. And I spent I spent twelve thousand steel plates, and uh, and I've just managed to get it back up to to this amount here, seven seven thousand. So let's go have a look what I did. Um, okay, so yeah, I've I've done the flooring of this place. And I removed uh, the refinery and the two assemblers that we had here. Still need to get rid of the conveyors. But um, I'm just going to leave the conveyors there until we can uh, build a cargo storage area. Uh, and it looks like I will need to do something about those lights. Um, I'm thinking about just maybe having a button that I can press which will increase the offset. Is that, um, is that something we can do? So this, uh, four button, um, button panel is from a mod and it's brilliant. I love it. Although on here, seeing as this is the base, we could probably use this one, which has a, a stand. So it's got the four buttons plus a uh, control panel. So that might not be too bad. I think just for now we'll place it here and we'll probably move it later on. Let's grab a few more computers. Let's get rid of that scrap as well. Don't need that. Okay, can we... We've got them in a group. They are this one here. Can we increase? The, yeah, we can increase the offset. Okay. So that's basically all we need. So every time I log in, I'll just have to press this a few times. Um, see if we can see it. Actually, I could do it if I... Go to spectator cam. And then press F7 to control my character again, but stay in this camera. And then press F. There we go. Yeah, so I've got to press it like 10 times. But that's all right. It, it's, um, it's not that bad. I guess, um, realistically, it'd be easier just to go into the control panel. Grab those and then just increase the offset. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, let's go downstairs because I did spend 12,000 steel plates. So, fucking Jesus. 
sliding around. It's really irritating me. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so this room was looking extremely boring. So I, um, I put these little beams in here. Hopefully they won't get in the way. I'm pretty sure they won't because the, the timer row will be here. And all the programmable blocks will be along here. So it sort of just, I don't know, makes it look a little bit more interesting because it was just, it was very plain and boring. And I managed to get all of this welded up and some of this. So I did run out of um, steel plates. I did uh, downstairs as well. So head down here. Honestly, it doesn't look like um, I did a great deal. But yeah, I spent like a lot of steel plates. It, it just goes to show how much iron we're going to need to actually build this place. And like, especially what I've got planned for the hangar and stuff, that is going to be massive. Um, okay, so I've got these set up. I've got them all hooked up with the, uh, the conveyors. Looks really, really cool. And all of these pipes actually work. <laughs> so there's no dummy pipes. They're, they're actually, they're all connected. But I just wanted it to look uh, a bit more meaningful than just like a couple of tubes going into it. So yeah, I thought that uh, turned out pretty good. And um, I did dig out another spot here, so I used a, uh, a blueprint of it. And um, even though we're not gonna we're not gonna put these two assemblers in just yet, because these two are are plenty for our needs. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had enough space for two before we continued on, because I was gonna put the cargo containers. Uh, in the next section, but I think I might make a dedicated room for the cargo containers. Possibly upstairs. Because there's not a great deal going on up there. We've got plans for um, a pretty cool looking corridor. And currently we're only using one door of it. Um, there is plans for, for this door. It's going to go, uh, there's going to be a stair system that goes down and it'll meet up with uh, just before the refinery room in that uh, in that section there. But yeah, then at least um, like if we continue this on, we could do um, a cargo area possibly off on the left side. I don't know. Actually, it'd probably make more sense to have it off the right side. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to start building a new solar tower. Have a look at how many uh, solar cells we've got. Now, I, uh, I did the math on it and the tower that I'm planning to build will need around 4,000 um, solar cells. So, like this is a good, a good start, plus... We'll, um, we'll have all the cells that we've uh, put in there as well. So it'll be decent. All right, let's get this started before we uh, run out of light. So I'm thinking right up here, right up on top of this ridge here. Like, yeah, right there. That's, that's like perfect. Wait, is that the right color? So I'm double check. It'll be shift P to select the color that you're uh, attaching to. There we go, beautiful. And then we can go up here and just paint these ones. Okay, so um, control shift and then middle mouse button will paint the entire grid.
Okay, so I want uh, a little bit of a gap underneath it. So probably, we'll say six. And then we need 12 after that. So there's one, two. It's 12. Uh, next is going to be a rotor. And I want the zero to be facing us. Like that. We need to weld this up. Oh, that's uh, an advanced rotor. We don't need an advanced rotor. Just a regular rotor will suffice. There we go. Okay, uh, I might actually weld all of this up because I'm going to encase it further. I can hear something electrical. Shorting out. Is that bug back? Yep. So I damaged the light and I fixed it up. But there's this weird thing that happens, uh, like if something gets damaged and you fix it, it, um, like the damage comes back. So the only way to fix it is you've got to, like, take the part off and then... replace it really hope they fix that soon because it's really frustrating now I've got to enter that into the group uh, all sorts of crazy stuff All right, two more rotors. Zero up the top. Weld those up. Oh shit, uh, we need, we're going to need a battery on here. These things need to have power as well, like you can't just weld it up. So before we get too carried away with this, we need to put a, uh, I was going to say a temporary battery, but that'd be a bit of a waste. Um, all right, well, we need a platform down here. Okay, how are we going to do this? Try and make this look interesting. Probably, should probably weld these up.
Yeah, I think that'll be alright. That looks fairly meaty. Actually, before I weld that up, let's um, let's get the battery set up. So I want a couple of batteries on here that uh, that we can't disconnect, and they'll be sort of like a buffer. So even if we don't have any batteries on here at all, at all, we're not um, not wasting the uh, the solar energy. They'll be getting stored somewhere. So I'm going to make like a little, um, a very tiny like uh, control room basically. So there'll be enough for a couple of batteries um, and maybe one or two programmable blocks. Definitely one, obviously. But I might want to throw something else on there as well. So... Um, Honestly, we could get away with a pretty small... If we just go... Um, what if we sort of match what's going on over here. Sort of round it off a little bit. Wow. Well, that happened. I don't understand how... how Splitzy hasn't died yet. <laughs> I mean, because that's how easy it is. So you just move one meter a second too quick and then dead. So I think we'll go too high. So we'll throw these in the corners, just to sort of round round off the uh, the building a little bit. Like I said, it's just a, a very tiny little control room. Um, think of like um like a substation or something in a in a city. Like the the majority majority of it is. Um, like transformers and stuff like that, but they they have like a tiny little control room where they can see readouts and and that sort of thing. Get back here. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Throw that in there, and then. Uh, Oh yeah, there's no power. Um, okay, so I'm thinking programmable block here. Programmable block here. We could put windows in here and here. And then we'll have uh, two batteries there, two batteries there. And then we could have like a LCD screen or something on the back wall. Maybe... Uh, the uh, command console things along there. Just, yeah, really, really basic. Let's uh, see if we can get a window. Okay, batteries. Yeah, that kind of looks weird. Um, shit. What 
What if we use one of these? Well, we turn it like that. How's that look? That is also weird. Okay. What if we just go straight down like that? Alright, let's go like that, and then we'll just do four blocks straight across. Yeah, that kind of looks shit. Alright, um... I don't know, maybe we should just go with a, a flat wall here. Sort of stuck for ideas. It might be this door. This door might be shit. Because I've got nothing I can put in there. I can either match that side or I can match that side. Both are going to look shit. Um... We've got that one there. Of course we need metal grids for it. Anyway, what I was thinking is because that one sits all the way at the back, we might be able to get away with um, one of these. which would allow us to use one of those and transition into a full block again. Like that. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think that looks all right, but I will need to get four metal grids for that. Okay, now for the roof. What if we we go with the tip and we put it that way? Yes, I like that. That's going to look cool. Let's go with that. We'll be able to make this look uh, like make it seem a little bit taller. Flip those around that way, but we need the inverted one. So the tint is on the outside of it. There we go. There we go. Shame you can't shut these doors just by hitting the door. You've got to hit this little trigger. I did like it. Um, yeah, the, the thing that turned me off was the door. <laughs> so I'm changing the entire front of it so I can get this door in.
which I need bulletproof glass for. Of course. But yeah, so that'll that'll close like that. And we can just open it just by getting the door. You don't need to get the control panel. Which is a lot better. Alright, looks cool. I just uh, I do need some more uh, bulletproof glass for that. Just have to keep in mind. Fifteen. All right, cool. So from here, um, this is going to extend out, and then the batteries are all going to be sitting on here, like all the ones that we can remove. So for now, there's probably only going to be two, two sets of batteries. All right, so I want a gap on the edge. And then we're going to have three batteries grouped together. So I probably want to come back one as well to leave ourselves a little bit of room in between the front of the tower. And then remove that one there. Then we need a gap in between the next one. And then there's three batteries here. So we remove this one. And that leaves us with a little bit of space on this side here. Um, gap. And then, yeah, now that'd be, that'd be good. So I want this one to be just a single battery on a rotor and that's going to be for recharging all the um, bunkers. Whenever we actually need to do that. Okay, first battery. There we go. That's how we're going to start off. So I need enough power cells to make seven batteries. Although the most important part is these two banks, because they're for the base. Okay, still need still need more computers. Get rid of this steel plate that we've got on us. All right, well, we've got one bank set up, and we've got the two buffer batteries. Um, do our programmable block here. Okay, seeing as um, we're going to have multiple, multiple banks of batteries, I want to actually label them. So um, let's get some letters out here.
Okay, so this um this first row is gonna be row one, as you can tell. Um but it's got battery one. So this is gonna be our battery that we take to all the uh all the bunkers off site and recharge them. Now these big banks are gonna be for the base itself. So we've got bank left and bank right. Simple. And so as we expand this, uh, extend this uh, platform out here and add more banks, we, we'll just add uh, another row number to it. So it'll be BR2 and BR3, whatever. All right, um, now back to the tower. So, um, once again, it's not going to be super well, um, defended. Like I'm not using heavy armor or anything, just using light armor, but at least it's a, it's a bit, it's a little bit more protected than what it was, what the other one is. At least it's not just one single cube holding it up. So this, um, this tower here is going to be a bit more, uh, permanent. I'm not sure if we'll ever actually, uh, pull this one down. Might, might leave it here forever. But there is, um, there is plans on launching a satellite into space that we get our power from. Because obviously the sun's going to be, uh, a lot easier to to acquire up in space <laughs> there's not a great deal of stuff that can get in our way um we should have enough steel to do this hopefully i mean we've got around three thousand left all right that looks uh looks pretty good i like it <laughs> I just noticed something. The shape of it. All I need to do is put another uh, little control uh, control room on this side. And then it'd be perfect. <laughs> Typical of Timmy Carbine building. Alright, let's um let's continue extending this out. So I want enough room for six solar panels so there's one two three four five shit nice and six Okay, and then on the end we've got... I'm going to put uh, decoys on the ends of the uh, solar tower. So if for some reason um, something gets past the, uh, the turrets and um, and it's going to start shooting the tower, at least it's going to go for the decoys first before it destroys some of our key components like the rotors or um, the uh, solar panels themselves. Um, and we won't fully armor it up. I think what we might do is just put half, half, um, half blocks around it. So we got 2,700 left. Uh, I'm making power cells again as well because we ran out. Got to get these solar panels on. Look at that. It's already getting sunlight. That's awesome. Although we're 
Yeah, timing's a little bit, a little bit bad. Um, hmm. yeah, I think we'll do a half, half slap here. I think that'll look pretty cool. Oh shit, no, that's, it's not going to work. Because we don't have the little corner pieces to go in there. So, like, we could leave them out, it's not going to be a big deal, but, um, if we wanted this to look smooth, we would need to put a full block here. And then use tips. Because then we've got this piece that we can throw in the corner. Which will smooth it out. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. I like that. Actually, before I did that, I should have double-checked that I had enough, uh... I made it long enough. Um, alright, so we're gonna go... Three, four... Five, six, perfect. And then we're going to do another row. This is going to be big. Now, there should be enough room. Um, so we went up six blocks from the very bottom, which is this block here. So then, then there's five, which would be two above this one. And then we went up 12 blocks before we went to the rotor. And then it's got a little bit more as well. So even when this swings all the way down, it should sit... Uh, probably about there or a little bit higher. So there should be plenty of room. Should be. Actually looks uh, pretty cool. Okay, so I um, need to get these solar panels up and running. Let's focus on all the components except for the solar cells and then we'll run those up separately.
All right, all done. So I would have missed out on some of the large steel tubes. Yeah, that's all right. We can fix that. I need some more energy as well. All right, that's one load and we nearly got 24 done. We got 23 and a bit. Not bad, not bad at all. Right, let's use that docking camera so we can see where we can, where we're going. Oh, it's going to be such a pain in the ass to <laughs> dismantle that one. We need like a, uh, a ship that has a grinder on it and a welder so we can just grind it. I might actually do that because that'll, that, that, like, um, that'll give us something to do as well. An excuse, an excuse to, uh, to build something. Okay. <laughs> We've got them all. Yeah, the script is freaking out now. We should go and turn that off. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to do it now um, before I started the script is because right now the uh, the panels are nice and flat. It makes it easy to get around and weld them up. So uh, next next episode, we're going to have to build a uh, some sort of a battery lifting ship because uh, currently we are not gaining any power to the base. Uh, we're, we're, we're gaining power. It's just coming up here, which isn't uh, it's not going to help us out <laughs> a great deal. Fully recharged in two hours. That's one day. Holy shit. Input is one megawatt? That doesn't sound right. I mean, wasn't... Oh, yes, that's right, because the script's not working, so they're not getting full power. I was going to say, because that solar tower down there it was uh, generating 4.3 megawatts. What the fuck is it doing? Eh. All right, let's move the ship. A little anky. Oh, the script must have uh, left, left it on, like left the rotors on when it got turned off. Bring them up here, get more batteries online. All right, script time. Here we go. Um, PB solar tower. Let's put that in brackets because that's the grid. Solar alignment, edit, browse workshop, 
Izzy's solar alignment script. Okay. Um, we don't need that. We've got solar rotors set up. Nah, that looks fine. All right, compile and then remember and exit. It's aligned. Well, it's aligning. Yep, there we go. Oh, something I forgot to do. It's actually meant to be more pieces here. I got rid of all my steel, damn. All right, go grab some steel. Yeah, because I want to try and protect those rotors. Because they're very uh, vulnerable, basically. And it's a single block that has to get destroyed. So we're going to put tips on here. Now this shouldn't cause any problems with the rotor. But you generally have to be very careful about where you place blocks when you're doing uh, rotors like this. They say they don't like to grind up against other blocks. Normally, normally ends in tears. But this should be fine. I have uh, tested this before. The so same with these ones here. It actually matches the shape that we've got on the ends as well. That's pretty cool. I would like to get some lights on here actually. So when we're like uh, coming back to base from like a mining trip or something, we can we can see it. It'll act like a beacon. And it might uh, help help me avoid it so I don't run into it. Because running into it would be devastating. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This was really cool. Yeah, sick. Yeah, it's nice and big. I like it. Um, so apparently the maximum is 7.2 megawatts that it can input, well, that the uh, solar panels can generate. It's only inputting 2.38, oh, that's right, yeah, because it's only, um, it's only going to tell us the, the stats of these two batteries here. Because as far as it's concerned, these batteries here are a separate grid because they're attached by a rotor. But if we have a look, you will see that they are recharging. So, yeah, the, each one of these batteries is taking a megawatt each. So that's four megawatts. And then what about these? Yeah, and it is 0.18, so yeah, it would be about 7.2 or whatever. Um, is that the maximum that the solar panels can output? Oh, that's right. I think it's 120 kilowatts is uh, the most they can output. All right, we've got a little bit more to do, and I need to turn off those that bloody uh, rotor and stuff. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got those up. Um, yeah, I wanted to paint this. Uh, that's the dark charcoal that I used for... That's, um... Let's use this. So I wanted to... Yeah, that's not too bad. I wanted to paint the flooring uh, a little bit darker grey. This might actually be too dark. And... No, that's fine. Alright. Uh, we're not going to be able to get that one though. What if we just... Do a control click. Control click, um, control mouse, middle mouse button does um, like a three by three square. It can help with uh, trying to paint those sections that are underneath another block, making it very difficult. Just like that. And I'm just using Shift P to select the color that I want. And I think I'll just start doing some control clicks down here. Yeah, cool. Um, okay. Now. What if we do the batteries this color? How will that look? Mm, not that great. What about the writing? No, the writing really needs to be a lighter color. Um, or if we just go with like a some sort of a white or something. Um, I think this is the one we use for the actual tower and stuff. And then something else for the batteries. Maybe like an orange or something. That's not bad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I nearly killed myself. Um, well, it stands out, but I think the white stood out as well, to be honest. Nah, uh, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, I will be... Like, building this down into the ground a bit more and making it look solid and... Yeah, but for now, it's just going to stay there. Although I think this whole thing is only sitting on one block. One block underneath. It's kind of dangerous. Do I have any steel on me? A little bit. Not a great deal. Alright, before I end the episode, I'm going to... Just make it a little bit more sturdy.
So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to pretty this up so it doesn't uh, look like this. Um, but at least it's a bit more sturdy now. There's, a, there's quite a few blocks that are in the voxels. All right, that's gonna have to do it for the video, because <laughs> we've been gone for ages. But um, I'm really happy with this. This is cool. I should have taken a screenshot after I painted it all. It would probably look better. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. All right, guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.